What's going on YouTube? Onyx back on this Mud 15. Back with some more seeing if we can get Bo Jackson and Adrian Peterson going yet again. It really hasn't been uh Wow, that was just horrible blocking. It really has not been that great of a uh I don't know, it hasn't been that great of a uh a I don't know what the fucking word is right now. I can't think of it. The experiment has not worked out too great yet. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's getting any better. I switched to my Eagles playbook to see if we can work this Eagles uh, two running back style run game better than the Panthers one. And I don't know, maybe it is working better. It's Adrian Peterson and he's gone. Who is 25 that's catching him? Who? How? How, people? Somebody explain to me how. I think that was um, Calvin Pryor just ran down Adrian Peterson from behind. Please, I would love any type of explanation anybody can give. Somebody let me know in the comments how the hell Adrian Peterson, Adrian Peterson, the 99 overall, 98 speed Adrian Peterson just got chased down by Kelvin Pryor. Anybody, please let me know. Like, I would love to figure that one out because I can't tell you. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't care how tired he was or is, and he shouldn't have been tired because that was basically his first time carrying the ball, so he shouldn't have been tired. Oh, he had that played well. That was that was Larry Fitzgerald's fault. His cornerback didn't get blocked. Is this really what you're gonna play, dude? No, he switched it up this time. Good job. Good job of switching it, because I was definitely gonna go at that pinch zone crap. Bo Jackson out the backfield catching these passes. This is just this just seems unfair. Bo Jackson and Adrian Peterson and then especially with Bo Jackson's catching ability and whatnot. And it seems like he went back to this pinch zone. No, I don't think that's pinch zone. I'm gonna put Andre Reed in that. Maybe it is the pinch zone. Hey, he went back to the pinch zone. I, I will never understand that defense. Like, I, I really won't. Like, if you're right in front of the end zone, like, three yards away maybe, but, like, five plus yards away, I wouldn't do it. Because those flat zones, if somebody is actually going to the flats and somebody's going behind the flat zone, the flat zone is not going to play deep enough to stop somebody in the end zone. And then if your flat zone is smart enough to actually play back deep with the receiver, he's not going to be in the flat. And depending on who's in that flat zone, you're probably going to catch it and turn it into a touchdown anyway. If you throw it to the flat person. So, unless you're close to the end zone, I wouldn't run that play. I don't, I don't really understand why people run that play so often from so far away. Like 10 plus yards away from the end zone and they're running... Goddamn, uh... Pinch zone. Trey Waynes, get that tackle. Oh, Adrian Peterson on your team, too? I wonder if that's the 99 Peterson, also. I doubt it. I hope you don't have 99 Peterson with uh, Ryan Tannehill at quarterback and. The rest of the BS I just seen on your offense, Luke Wilson at tight end. So that Luke Wilson at tight end, Kenny Stills, and Amari Cooper at wide receiver. If you have 99 Peterson, that is ridiculously stupid. And you're going to run with Ryan Tannehill. You remember he has 61 carry. I just want you to remember that. I don't know, that might be 99 Peterson, because it seems like his offense is based around him. Because he's just running the ball, and it seems like... It could be 90 overall Peterson now, because he's also a beast. 
But it just feels like his offense is way too based around this this Peterson for it to not be 99 Peterson. But the rest, the way the rest of his team looks, there's no way that that should be 99 Peterson. Like if 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 you have a million coin card on your team with the way your team looks, you are retarded. Because those coins could be used for a lot of other players instead of just relying on one player. Peterson is literally worth a million coins right now. Like, I'm so tempted sometimes to sell him just because he's worth a million coins. Yeah, you ain't got nowhere to go, bruh. I know you like to run around with Tannehill, so I'm just sending pressure at you every time. I'm not giving you any chances to run anywhere. And you're going to go for it. Okay. Well, you go ahead and go for it. We're going to send some more special blitzes at you. And you go at Trey Waynes. You you go ahead and have fun going at Trey Waynes, sir. I I have no problems at all with you going at Trey Waynes. Please. Please, do that more often, sir. Please. He's not gigantic, but he's definitely fast. I was trying to cut that inside. I keep forgetting to hit left trigger. To make these cuts easier. It's funny though, because it seems like he has one play on defense too. This two sink QB contain. The suction tag. You can't even juke people for real because the suction tackles. Even if you juke them, they still get the fucking suction tackle off and it doesn't matter. He, he literally has one play on defense, too. And it's funny because it, there's no one in the flats on this play, so I could literally just abuse the shit out the flats. Ah, I just wanted to try and hand it off. I knew the dude was chasing him, but I wanted to try and hand it off, hoping he could just get up there in time to get up that in that hole. That's Adrian. That's Adrian Peterson. I don't know what AP you got, but I highly doubt it's this one. And if it is, you're retarded. But I highly doubt it's this one. Larry, baby. Larry, that was nasty. I seen that cover two. You keep running it, so. He went from the cover two sink to the Sam Mike cover two. That's why I just sent Larry on that streak. I seen his cornerbacks. I sent uh, Peterson to the flat, sent Larry on the streak. His cornerback stayed too far underneath Larry Fitzgerald. Just throw it to the sideline. As long as his safety doesn't come flying into the sideline. You can usually just easily get it in underneath the safety and behind the cornerback towards the sideline. And then after that, Larry Fitzgerald is one of the best. That ultimate legend, Larry Fitzgerald, is one of the best just uh, ball carriers as far as after the catch, running after the catch receivers on this game. Like, it really doesn't get any better. Him and Des Bryant. Des Bryant is the best. Larry Fitzgerald is second best. And I'm stuck on a D-line. And he's going at 98 speed Trey Waynes again. You can you can go at Trey Waynes all you want, bro, because he's just going to take it from me. I, I have no issues with you going at Trey Waynes. If you really want to just throw it up at Trey Waynes, please, feel free. Thank you for the win, though. And that was all Madden second string. That was my championship game. Uh, that, that was literally my championship game. I'm One game, my next game is the Super Bowl. And that's what my championship game was. And I don't want to put the championship game in the Super Bowl together. So I think we're just going to keep this one short and we're going to leave it here. But just so y'all see, next game is the Super Bowl. That was my championship game. That's 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 what I got. But yeah, we're going to end this one here. That's going to be it for this one. 
Uh, I'm Onyx, and I'm out of here.